Hi there! We are making chocolate cake today and we're making it in the microwave so I know that we are all into that whole mud cake thing but if you do that then you only have one serving of chocolate cake. The way I'm gonna make it today you're gonna have more than one serving so you can either share or you can eat more chocolate. Okay, so now I'm done mixing um, all the ingredients together. Now I'm going to put it in the microwave. So how it works is basically you need to put it at full whack for two whole minutes. So that is the time that I know for sure that my cake will almost be done, but not all the way. So a full two minutes. And then after that, I'm going to be putting it in at 30 second intervals until it is completely done. So how is completely how I'll know it's completely done is the same as when it's in the oven. I'll just take a toothpick and prick it into the cake. And if the toothpick comes out dry, then the cake is ready. So let's move on to the microwave. I'm just going to do that. And then I'll come back and show you when the cake is ready. So now the my chocolate cake is ready. It actually took six minutes to do so. Remember, I started with the two minute first and then the 30 second intervals. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to overcook it. And you know when you're making cake, even the my cakes in the microwave, that it can get really hard if you overcook it. The other thing that I want to just work around is the fact that whenever you make something with flour in the microwave, it automatically just becomes hard. So now, because I've got, because I know that I want my cake to be nice and moist, I don't want it to be hard or any, uh, any funny or clumpy, I'm going to correct that. So what I've done here is I've got a mixture of some milk and some sugar, and I'm going to be spraying that all over the cake while the cake is hot. And that is going to help me with the cake sucking up that moisture and making sure that it doesn't become hard or spongy to a point of not being nice to eat. So this mixture over here, I'm just going to be spreading all over my cake as much as possible. And then the cake is going to be able to suck it in and make it or keep it nice and moist because I have decided that I'm going to go all the way today. I'm going to make some icing, a little bit of some cream um, icing for the cake, and then I'm also gonna make a chocolate ganache. So basically this cake is going to be a deluxe cake, and that's what we want. We want very short time, very good tasting cake that is actually going to rival all the other cakes that you've made in your oven. So now I'm gonna put this away, and I'm going to be making the icing that I've just spoken about. I've got some cream over here and I'm gonna pour the cream into a mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna put in some ice and sugar. Don't worry too much about the quantities. I'll make sure that they are clearly put at the bottom on the description box. And then we whisk.
Okay, so there we are. We've got some nice stuff peaks that have formed there. So I was using a whisk. Please don't ask me why. But if you've got a mixer, a stand mixer, use that. Electric mixer, a hand uh, electric whisk, use that rather. But just watch out that you don't over whisk your mixture. Because you know if you over whisk cream, it starts to break and that we don't want that. So we've got some nice stuff peaks here. And that's basically all we're looking for. Now I'm going to take a spatula and I'm going to take some of this lovely whipped cream and ice and sugar and I'm going to spread it everywhere on the top surface of my cake. Now one might say this is a little bit overindulgent, one would be right. And now from here on, we're just going to put the cake in the fridge. So I'm going to put it in the fridge to let it cool. And once it's cooled, actually it's, it, it doesn't take that long. I don't put it in that long, about 30 minutes or so. And then once that has happened, I'm going to be doing the, putting on the ganache. So I'm going to make the ganache in the meantime while we wait. So now, as you can see, we've got a cake. Remember we put the little icing on. Oh, not the little what am I saying we put the whipped icing on top and as you can see it's got lovely peaks it's gone a little bit stiff because that's gonna be the bottom of what the rest of the icing is going to be so I'm gonna make some ganache quickly and that's what I'm gonna put on the top really decadent ne? so I've got some chocolate chips in here it's a whole mix of chocolate that I've cut up as well as some leftover chocolate chips and then I'm going to put hot cream in there. And once I've put the cream in the container with the chocolate chips, I'm just going to let it sit for about two minutes so that the chocolate can actually get nice and melted. And then we'll be able to just mix it through. And that's what we're going to put on top of the cake. Okay, so I've let it sit long enough. I'm just going to mix it through. As you can see, the chocolate is actually melting because the cream was very, very hot. But what we are, we're going to have is we're going to end up with chocolate that is not as thick as it was when we started, but ganache style. And that's going to be the top of the cake. There we go. That's our chocolate mixed in to the cream. And it's nice and runny, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it on top. There's some bits in there, I'm not really worried about that. I'm just going to make sure that those bits don't end up on the chocolate. Make sure I can find someone else to take care of that for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and move the cake around. So I can get chocolates to cover as much as possible okay so I'm just gonna leave those peaks there really guys because I'm not worried I think I'm <laughs> mesmerized by the cake so basically that's all you're trying to do so when you make it you're gonna make sure that you smooth in the icing at the bottom that way you've got one beautiful layer and then when you put your ganache on top there it's also gonna be a beautiful layer it's not gonna have little peaks coming out I'm not really worried about that because all, all I can really think about right now is eating the cake and after this I'm going to put it in the fridge about 30 minutes for the ganache to harden <laughs> yes I know I know it is so long to wait but you'll be okay so we just want the ganache to harden just a little bit and then I'm going to show you the finished product So guys, here we are, as you can see. That's the cake. I did actually forget to oil the surface. So, don't do that, just oil the surface. Let me get something else to hold on. 
and then it'll be much easier for you to remove that's not, that was not shabby that was not shabby at all oh that looks amazing so this is what your cake that took six minutes to make in the microwave is gonna look like obviously it was some hard work and um cosmetic cocoa dusting to make sure that everything looks the same but i really can't wait so basically i just want to do this so you can see how soft it is and i want you to see the layer of the icing whipped cream that we did just before because you know you might think uh Bernardo's doing too much but really honestly i'm doing just enough i think you're really gonna enjoy this okay just remember to like the video because i know you like the look of the cake and leave a comment and also to subscribe and thank you very much for coming into my kitchen today and that's it from me bye bye